Hi, this is Candy at, with Candy's Kitchen Table and Garden. I want to thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to um, come on and let you all see that there are still some delicious foods that grow in September for your um, fall and winter uh, crop. So what this is are tomatoes. Remember the cherry tomatoes? Look at this. Look at how massive this bush is, first of all. This is it. It is huge. And it is putting out, you see all the yellow flowers? It's putting out tomatoes. Tomatoes. Look at that. Those are new ones. Let me show you the actual tomatoes. Look. Can you see that? Look at that. The cherry tomatoes. That's what you have there. Look at this. So you can still have beautiful tomatoes, delicious tomatoes. Uh, if you plant one of these and you only need a seed, one little tiny plant makes this huge, huge bush and it is going forever. It's all over here. Look at that. Look at that. I had to bring it back because it was clean <laughs> on the other side of this thing. So anyway. I just wanted you to see that and also another plant that's still growing those are bell peppers baby bell peppers I have tons of them that are still growing I just started some more tree collard greens and you know tiny little babies there those are um, you got uh, the white grape plants and you have uh, the muscadine plants that are in those black bowls there. They're growing. This is my massive watermelon plant. <laughs> this joker is huge. But I only see two watermelons, so I don't know. It's huge. It's everywhere. It's all over here. It's growing. Sometimes it, they just go rogue. Anyway, these are um, chili peppers, hot peppers, and so I have to um, find out what's going on here. Looks like I've got a critter. I got some critters. I'm gonna have to put some um, soapy spray on there, and then look at. I still have um, bell peppers growing. This is a nice, beautiful, big bell pepper plant. The watermelon is all over here. <laughs> I still have basil, tons of basil, tons that grows. And in this box, I'm still trying to grow muscadine plants. These are are for sale but the only thing is I have to pot them um, and get them ready they're starting to change colors because of the time of year uh, it looks like they're they're dying back on some of them but they're not trust me they're not they're not <laughs> I'm gonna be harvesting all of this basil Look at these leaves, huge. I'm gonna be harvesting them, I'm gonna dry them out, put them in containers, and then I'll be able to have them for my soups this um, fall and winter. And I'm trying to get around here. It's getting pretty tight. I still got cucumbers growing. Look at, look at that, those beautiful yellow flowers and cucumbers. Still have those growing. And this is September 16th, I think. September 16th. Look at that. That watermelon, man. I cannot wait. It's September 16th, and I've, I've got a watermelon. Matter of fact, I've got two of them. Look at this is my hand. Let me see. That's huge. And then there's another one back there. 
Mm-hmm. Cowpers. Now, I know there's one. My grapes are almost gone. We've almost <laughs> eaten all those table grapes. I still have a few. But look, this is what I want to show you. Okay, over here, I'm growing string beans. And I had a few. They, they, um, had a few string beans up there. And they did pretty good. But I planted more because you can still get string beans. So all those bottles, those 500 liter bottles, water bottles, I took and I put over my string beans because they're coming up and we have a critter. I'm gonna get a close shot for you. We have a critter that comes and I think he's eating our string beans when they're babies. So I put these bottles over them all the way down give them a chance to grow and 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 reach the string so they can hold on to them and protect the bottoms from the critters so that that I think that's gonna help I'm not sure but I know we can get some more string beans if I can save these and protect them from the critters and um there you have it garden doesn't look so pretty but it's still producing food like I still have tomatoes over there and you know I even have a couple of cantaloupes out there that's still growing these are black eyed peas I'm gonna take the rest of these and use them as seeds looks kind of bad but those are my seeds growing so everything everything is um usable you know, you don't throw away nothing. See, look at <clears throat> this is a black eye pea. See that? And my my black eye pea field wasn't that that large of a field, so it only got a little bit this year. But I bet you what next year I will. And you got a couple more little cantaloupes coming. And he's so tiny. Look at that. You got some honeydew melons. And of course, you got some more corn. And I think I'm just going to have seeds out of that now. And there you have it. Things that you can grow in the fall. Spinach, lettuce, cabbage, um, mustard greens, um, all of your... Um, herbs you can grow uh even trying to get a little strawberry <laughs> strawberry got the nerve to try to grow a strawberry but um oh yeah these are my um some more basil i'm gonna go ahead and harvest the basil i've got some baby collard greens that I'm trying to grow there. And these in the black pots, those are the crepe myrtles. And I've got them all potted up. And I'll give you a shot there. All of those in the black pots are crepe myrtles. And they'll be ready for spring for south. This, oregano parsley, rosemary, look at it, how green it is, uh, this is some more mint, this is um, sage, and again some more, <laughs> so just remember, it's not uh, time to stop gardening, it's just time to change over to things that you will be needing for the fall and the winter so you think about the dishes 
that you cook uh, in the fall, in the winter, in the colder uh, days. That's what God has growing right now. Things that you would put in soup, in stews, in gumbos, in um, chowders. Um, those are the things that are growing now. Anything that you can think that you normally eat uh, on a cold day, that's what's growing right now. Didn't God think of it all? <laughs> yes, he did. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Again, this is Candy, and thank you for coming, uh, stopping by Candy's Kitchen Table and Garden. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.